AITA for forcing my diet onto my boyfriend? I, 24M, have been with my boyfriend, 27M, for two months now and for my mother's birthday. We were invited over to my parents' house for dinner. I'm a vegan and so are all of my close relatives. My boyfriend loves eating meat and dairy. It's not what I choose to do. But he's an adult and gets to make his own decisions. I've never dictated him to eat in a certain way before. It's the first time my parents are having us over for more than drinks and snacks. And my mother had spent days preparing everything for a perfect evening. When I talked to my boyfriend about all those meals my mother was cooking, he seemed a bit upset about the lack of meat. It's a vegan household and every guest except for him is at the very least a vegetarian. What did he expect? I assured him that there would be plenty of option he liked. Pasta salad, baked potatoes, soups, beans, lentils, loads of cake. In response, he told me he'd just bring some steak for himself to make it bearable. I asked him not to do that because I think that bringing your own food to a dinner party when there is plenty of food available is fairly rude. Obviously, that doesn't apply to allergies or extremely picky eaters. I found it especially disrespectful because my parents can't stand the smell of meat. So bringing meat into their household is blatantly ignoring their boundaries. I explained all of that to him and he got huffy and argued that I didn't mind him eating meat near me. Yeah, that's true. But it isn't about me but about my parents. Who have invited us inside their home and just because I'm comfortable with something doesn't mean that they have to be. In the end, he agreed to not take any steak with him but he told me I was being too pushy about our lifestyle and that it was no surprise, no one liked vegans, and called me an AH for forcing him to not eat meat for a single evening. NTA. I'm not vegan, but FFS it's just one meal with your family that's vegan, vegetarian. It's a matter of basic manners to respect the beliefs of the host unless he has allergies or dietary restrictions. I assure he will survive a meal without meat or cheese. What if your boyfriend was invited to lunch by a Muslim family? Would he ask them to cook pork sausages? Beyond this single episode, I invite you to reflect on your relationship with BF. Because the food topic will probably return to every reunion with your family. Thanksgiving, Christmas, etc. And in the long run it could be exhausting. If you don't find a point of agreement. NTA. I am not vegan or vegetarian but there are plenty of non-meat dishes that I could stand. Or even enjoy. For one meal. He's making it into way too big a deal. It's one meal FFS. No one is asking him to change his dietary habits for the rest of his life. It's also a sign of respect toward your folks. What an ass. I'll be honest. Before I read through to the end, I thought this was you going to force your demands on him. No way did I think he was going to suggest bringing his own steak to a dinner party hosted by vegans. Sheesh. NTA. NTA. Bringing meat into a strictly vegan household would be exceedingly rude. Does BF seriously not go a few hours at a time without meat? Has he never just had toast for breakfast? Sounds like he's being obtuse to make some sort of point. NTA. If no one likes vegans, why is he dating you? You set a boundary. He tried to cross it and is sulking because you wouldn't let him. If he cannot acquiesce to a single night without meat, then that is at best exceedingly immature. At worst. He's being rude about you and your family bringing a steak or any food to someone else's house for dinner unless explicitly invited to bring something is rude. Have there been any other instances of him being rude or snide about your family? All in all, he seems like an immature little boy in this situation. NTA. I will never understand the panic some people find themselves in when faced with one meal that 
doesn't contain meat. It's childish. Ridiculous and a huge red glad that he has so little respect for your family. NTA, your BF is being a brat. NTA. For once the vegan isn't the bad guy in a reddit post I eat meat. But yeah, going without for a meal isn't going to kill me. I don't see how a host providing dinner is being pushy about a lifestyle. If they were from a different culture, country and served their traditional food. Would he make the same comment? Dude needs to grow up a bit. NTA. Red flags. Red flags. He can't sit through one vegan, vegetarian meal? One that will have more than enough food choices for him to not go hungry? And he wants to disrespect his vegan, vegetarian hosts. Your parents. By insisting on bringing meat? This will never stop being an issue and he will never respect this part of your life and therefore does not respect you. NTA he sounds very disrespectful. I would start writing up these red flags to see if he's worth this. Although after two months, this would be enough for me. Anyone can go one night without eating meat. So I'm wondering if he's starting trauma bonding which is why you should consider writing this down to see if it's a pattern. This way you don't keep forgiving and forgetting. Just because some times are good. NTA. Your BF sounds like one of those unbearable meat eaters that want to push their lifestyle on everyone else. There is nothing pushy in only serving vegan food in a vegan's home. If someone can't stand a vegan meal it's more a problem with them than that of the meal. NTA. I eat meat but I don't understand the people who treat vegan, veggie dishes as though they're poison. Or insist that every meal must contain meat. Trying to take food to someone's house when you know they're cooking for you is rude. Especially if the food you plan to take doesn't fit the beliefs of the host you wouldn't insist on. Taking pork to a Muslim household. NTA. This guy will always try to wear you down. Dump him. You're mismatched. NTA dump him. NTA. Not being vegan doesn't mean he has to eat meat. He's ta both for expecting meat in a meat-free house. And for trying to bring his own. Why is he dating a vegan if it's that much of a problem for him? NTA. NTA. I always thought it was common curiosity when you went to someone's house you ate what they served. Excluding allergies and food sensitivities of course. But apparently I'm wrong on that. I have a lot of food sensitivities. And do what is called a low FODMAP diet for health reasons. But I don't take food to other people's houses. If I'm over for just one meal. There was one weekend I was at a conference and all I ate was baked potatoes with salt on them. Because that was the only thing they served most of the weekend that I could eat. Was it terrible? Yeah, but I survived. I know there is a stereotype of vegans being pushy about their lifestyle. Not saying you are, but speaking as a more carnivorous side of the omnivoric human race. If you can't go one meal without meat then the problem is with you and not the pushy vegans. Definitely NTA if he doesn't want to eat the food he can always just decline the invite and not go. If it's that unbearable. You aren't forcing your diet onto him I'm NGL the title caught me off guard. But jokes aside he should NT be going to a dinner party if he doesn't like the food they're serving. Unless your parents allow him to bring meat he should NT be bringing his own food at all which I agree. It can be seen as disrespectful. Side note what he said at the end was completely uncalled for. If no one likes vegans that puts a question on the table. Does he even like or love you? I would highly recommend calling him out for that and communicating the issue. NTA. It would be like a smoker going to a non-smoker's home and insisting on lighting up because they can't bear not having a cigarette while they are there. 
If you can't respect the home you are a guest in then don't go there. Your NTA. But think long and hard before committing to building a life with this person. He does not share your values and thinks his values should override someone else's values in their own home. That does not bode well for your future. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.